Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? This is CPA Strength. We're back here with another one. This is tax season, and let's get into it. This is going to be uh, $400 a week, single, no dependents. Now, I did one last year on this same, same, uh, same scenario, and it's going to be a little bit different now. The tax return is going to be a little uh, different now. And so let's just get into it. Where, where would you even start? Well, let's, uh, let's go to the IRS, irs.gov here. And so we're going to go down here. And, you know, you don't know what to do. This is, I don't know how many people are going to do tax returns um, by hand and mail them in. I don't know how you, why you would really have to because look at this right here. Ta file your taxes for free and if you make look if you're if you make below sixty six thousand dollars which is pretty decent um, you can you can fight you can file for free uh, on one of these let's just check it out you know you can do all these different uh, free file free, free file programs if you if you make more than sixty six thousand, you can use one of these free uh, start fillable form a uh, fillable form, and it is free as well. But it's you have to do all the calculations yourself, which I find a little hard. I would say just at this point, maybe you would pay pay for the service. You know, because you, you've made this you've made over sixty six thousand, so there is probably some room for some deductions, and it's not so straightforward but anyway so I would just say what what I would do all right we're gonna go back go back to the beginning here but anyways if you are a single person if you're a person at all you're gonna file it you're gonna file a 1040 so let's go to the 1040 and here it is, 1040, right here. Now, I already filled, let's see, I filled one out before here. And this is just, this is just really, really different than, uh, than uh, the uh, previous years in the past. This is my eighth year preparing taxes, and it was always the same 1040. And this year it's uh it's a lot different. Let's let's just let's go over let's go over the differences real fast of of this of this tax return like glaring differences to me as a preparer for this is my eighth tax season. First of all, which I'm really glad is there's just a, a form 1040. I guess they're calling it a postcard now. There used to be a 1040 easy. There used to be a 1040A, and then there used to be a 1040. So it got very confusing. I just always used the form 1040 anyways. But it was always, you know, well, what form did you use? And what form is this? And so I really like they just made it one simple form. Now they made the, uh, it's a, it's still, it's still two pages. The first, the first page is just all information and your 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 client or would sign it on the bottom of the first page which is nice because you used to have to sign it on the bottom of the second page and that was a pain a you know pain in the butt because they'd say where do i sign and you say oh at the bottom of the second page where what so the first page is just information now the second page look there is only you now there's six there's six different schedules there's six schedules, there's a schedule A, there's a bunch of other schedules, but that would be all in the background. And for a simple and for a simple return, I guess a lot of returns, you wouldn't have really anything going on in the background. So I believe the old 1040 had uh, 70, 70 something lines. So they've really streamlined it. They cut it, they cut it in about a third of the different lines. And look, I really, I really like, you know, this is, change is difficult. It's taken me 
you know, I don't know this tax return setup in the back of my hand like I used to. But, you know, I, I really do like it. I think it's going to be a lot better. Now, the biggest, also, huge thing they've done for tax year 18, and I guess, and beyond, is they doubled the standard deduction, which is is huge. Although there used to be a personal exemption, they took that away. Um, but I was just looking at the other tax return I did uh, last year on the old on the old taxes, and there was the standard deduction was sixty three hundred. Personal exemption was four thousand and fifty. So that was like 10,300 10, of my uh, deducted from my income. And this year it's 12,000 deducted from my income. And it reduced the amount of taxes I owed by about 200. So, you know, for a, for a single person, this is uh, working out to your, to your benefit. Now there's always twists and turns and everything. So will it help everyone? No, I won't get into the, co the complexities of that, but it won't help everybody. Now, another thing, they, they doubled the child tax credit. So that's huge because a credit's a dollar for dollar basis. A deduction's a percentage. So they doubled that from 1000 to 2000 and that's huge. So let's say you worked $400 a week, 52 weeks in a year. 20,800. This would be your box one and your W-2. Attach form W-2. You'd have a box one right here. You'd put that in line one, 20,800. Now you don't say so you wouldn't have any other income. You go to line six, you would add up all the lines and that was your only income so you'd still have 20,800. Now adjusted gross income. See, they used to have this this section. It used to be above the line deduction. And there's, oh, I don't know, seven, eight, ten things that you can, that you can reduce your uh, income from. And usually, it's not on every return. Maybe one out of every ten returns I do or something might have a, one of those. But anyways, if all you had was a W-2... You know, one W-2 or two W-2s. And uh, you're not a teacher or anything. Teacher education credit. You don't have any student loans. Just very basic. You wouldn't have any adjustments. So line seven, you'd have 20800 And that's your adjusted gross income. Now here comes the... Uh, standard deduction or itemized deduction and n now usually I don't have you know usually some some single people um, married people you know people would itemize this is gonna because you can only take one or the other so this is gonna lessen the itemized deductions a lot but anyways you're gonna take you would take the standard deduction because you don't you don't own a house you usually have to own a house because mortgage interest and real estate tax are deductible for itemized. You wouldn't have that. So you're going to have a $12,000 standard deduction. It's right here because you're single. And you would put that in. See right here. Single status. Boop. So you deduct the 20800 you deduct um, twelve thousand from twenty thousand eight hundred. That would leave you with on line ten here. That's your taxable income, eighty eight hundred. Now you would need a tax table. So your so your taxable and so you're single and your taxable income is eighty eight hundred. Now we're going to go, I was waiting for the pu Pub 17 to come out because that's where they usually have the tax tables. It didn't come out, so I just went in the um, IRS form and I put it, I typed in tax tables today. 
Because I thought that was odd that they're going to start accepting tax returns and they don't have the pub 17. So how would people know how to pay how much taxes? So look, they got so type in tax tables up there on the IRS website. And this is for tax year 2018. I don't know, maybe they're not doing the pub 17 anymore. I don't really know. But this has um, tax and then earned income credit tables. So first, let's see, you made right here, first line, <clears throat> first line is single. Now this one says at least, but less than. So, and the first line is single here. So the first line, we made 8,800, but not less than 8,800. So you go, it's, it's, it could be this one or this one. You go to the higher one. It says at least or less than. So 8800 to 8850 somewhere in that range, you would owe $883 in taxes. So there's the tax, $883. Go over line 11, $883. We don't have, we don't have any credits. These are non-refundable credits, so it could only it could bring your tax liability down to zero. But we don't have any in this this uh, option or this example because we're just a single single person, one job, no dependents. So that would be how much tax you would owe. Eight hundred eighty-three. Now I didn't. Now if you have a W two, you're going to have different amounts federal income tax withheld from forms w2 and 1099 now i didn't want to confuse anybody and say what what your re what your refund is going to be because i always do that and they say oh well in your example you got this much back and and i made about the same or my neighbor made about the same now this this is going to depend how much federal income tax withheld is going to depend how you filled out your W-4. And that determines how many federal withholdings they're going to take out because that determines depending on if you're single, married, how many dependents you have, that they're going to take out, or how many exemptions you have, that they're going to take out that much in federal withholdings. So it could be... Um, it, it, it could be any it could be up to probably two thousand dollars in federal withholdings it could be a thousand dollars it could be five hundred dollars so let's just say that you put in two thousand let's just say let's let's say eighteen hundred and eighty three dollars they took out in federal withholdings that would be your box number two so you owe this much the government saying, "Hey, we've we figured out your income, we figured out your deductions, we figured out your taxable income. Based on your taxable income, you would have you would owe uh, eight hundred eighty-three dollars in tax. So we figured that out. So you owe us eight hundred eighty-three dollars, and you say, "Whoa, for the whole year, I've given you eighteen hundred eighty-three dollars." So say, "Oh, okay. Well, you've given us that." So then you're going to get, so you're going to get a difference here. Well, you don't have any other payments. So this would be 883. Now these would be, you could have refundable credits here. Earned income credits, additional child tax credit, um, which is great. And you know what? I, I'm going to, I just feel like we're going to go over, we're going to go over, hey, uh, what about earned income credit? So we'll, we'll look at that since we have our table up over there. But let's uh, get through this. <clears throat> so 1883, you've already prepaid the government. Now I don't really like I don't really like uh, prepaying the government. I would rather end up to about zero. So in, the, in but in the, in this scenario, you'd be getting a thousand dollar a thousand dollar refund. Forgot the comma.
Gotta get that karma. In this scenario, you'd be getting a thousand dollar refund. You know, because you've you've uh, given them too much during the year. Now, some people like some people like a, a nice thousand dollar lump sum. It's like a savings plan. Me, that means you've that means you've been they've been taking too much out of your paycheck every week. So I wouldn't really want that. I would want. Um, I would change my at this point. I found out that I've overpaid during the year. I would change my W-4 and increase the number of exemptions and they would take out less. This W-4 that you filled out for your job, you'd probably, you probably had zero exemptions. I would change it to one exemption and they would take out less. So in the following year, you'd probably get less of a deduction. That's besides the point. Anyways, we will do earned income credit at a different time. This is Jonathan Endorn. I hope this helped you. I will talk to you later. Uh, deuces.